What's up, YouTube? Another day, another deadlift. I don't know. I, I, I was trying to think of something witty to say that was gym related. Uh, dude, I'm pretty sure I've had some kind of intruder in my home gym lately uh, because, I mean, this is, that's typically not in my gym. And that's typically not in my gym. What is this? A hot wheel. A hot wheel. Oh yeah, these aren't just typically everywhere. Oh yeah, what else, what else? Oh yeah, I remember, I remember what else. Uh, a train whistle typically isn't in my gym. That was weak. That's better. Uh, I'm pretty sure my son has been in my gym. And that's, uh, this, is not a, this is not a playground. This is, this is like, uh, this is a sacred place to pump iron, bro. Or something like that, I don't know. I'm just here to get my workout in. Um, welcome back to another vlog. Uh, hope you enjoyed the last one and the one before that and the Halloween one and the one before that and the pumpkin patch one and the one before that. I hope you've enjoyed me bringing back the vlogs and being real and honest with you guys about everything that's going on. Um, and you know, I mean, it's just me making coffee, me working out, me eating food, me hanging out with my son, me going to work, me coming home from work. It's just, I'm doing life, man. And that's why I call them life vlogs. Sometimes it's like uh, one day, sometimes it's two or three days mashed together. I never really know how many days I'm gonna put in a life vlog. It just depends on what I'm doing. Like if I'm doing something fun and eventful, it might just be one day. If I'm doing stuff like, Every so often, it might be four or five days that I crush into one vlog. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know where this vlog is going to go. To be honest with you, but I'm I'm filming, and they say just hit that record button and start filming stuff. So that's what I'm doing. I'm right here. I'm right here. You're right here. And thank you so much for being here. Right now would be a great time to go down, hit that like button, hit subscribe because it's free. Let you know when I have new videos coming out. And I would absolutely love to have you as a part of the Gavin Lamb TV family. So. Uh, that being said, I'm about to work out. I don't know if I'm gonna film any of it, but I'm here. I gotta get my workout in. And uh, that's it, guys. So, hey, let's roll this intro. Woo! What's up, everybody? Back again. Uh, so you saw that I had I started this vlog out with a workout and everything, and then I came back. That was two days ago. Like I said, I don't know when I was gonna pick it back up again or not. But it was like two days ago, and uh, crazy thing is, I'm actually doing a practice run on my smoker. I'm gonna smoke a turkey breast tonight, see how it is, because I wanna do a practice run. I've never done turkey breast. I'm gonna do two turkey breasts on Thanksgiving. Someone else in the family's bringing a whole bird. We're gonna do two smoked turkey breasts, and I don't wanna mess it up for everybody, right? So, two. Whoa, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Don't you hit that light. Oh. It's all dark. <laughs> Little kiddo, he's crazy. So yesterday, it's 75 degrees outside. I live in Georgia. 75 degrees outside. Today, what's the temperature, Darby? Don't you hit that light! Ah! So the little boy is messing with me. He's messing with me. He's officially messing with me. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Super cold, 55 degrees outside now. You say 55? 53. 53, even colder. 53 degrees outside, 75 yesterday. That's Georgia weather for you. It's fickle, you never know what's gonna happen. And 75 degrees yesterday, I thought it was gonna be warm today or tonight, and now here it is, 53 degrees and dropping. Um, but it was a cold front coming in after Tropical Storm Nicole. Was it a hurricane? Tropical Storm Nicole. Okay. Uh, I think it did it actually. A hurricane. But it's like, there's different stages. Different, yeah, well, okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's a hurricane. A hurricane's a hurricane. So, it cold front came with tropical storm or hurricane Nicole. So, we got rain yesterday and now the cold front today. 53 degrees and dropping. So, I'm going to try to practice uh, smoking this turkey breast. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna bring you along for some of it as much as I can. It's not it doesn't oh my lord. I don't think it's gonna take as I don't think it's gonna take quite as long 
as a Boston Bud. It should only be a few hours, maybe even an hour and a half. Depends on the size and how everything goes. Hey, were you messing with me? Were you turning off the light on me? Were you turning off the light on me, man? You see yourself right there? Yeah, that's you. That's you. Little man's getting over a cold. He's had a cough and congestion all week long. He's starting to feel better. As you can see, he's playing jokes on me. So, are you playing jokes on me? You playing jokes on me? <laughs> all right, folks, let's go put the meat on the smoker. Lucas, what did you just do? Did you just turn on the light right there? Did you just do that? You climbed up in the on the stool and hit the light switch, didn't you? Did you do that? Huh? Did you do that? Yeah. Yeah, I know you did. That kid's a mess. He's a mess. I don't know where he got it from. All right, so let's actually talk a little bit about the process. So I got a bone-in turkey breast from the store, and uh, basically I deboned it. I took both breasts off, and I put it in a dish. I patted them down. I basted it with mayonnaise. I know it sounds crazy, but everybody swears by it. I watched a meat church video and also a couple other videos, Heath Ryle, stuff like that, barbecue. Um, I, I pick like a few different channels and I just take the best of all of those to try to uh, educate myself on using the smoker because I'm still new to it. Within a year, uh, I've just now been smoking Boston butts and, and tri-tip roast and, and whole chickens and turkey and stuff like that. So we basted the turkey breast in mayonnaise and then we did our dry rub which was um, Four Rivers Barbecue all-purpose rub, and then a little bit of Kingsford um, garlic and herb rub or something. I mixed those two and I sprinkled it on, so this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like right now. Just raw turkey breast basted in mayonnaise with some seasonings on it. And then if we go out to the smoker, Hey, you gotta stay in here because it's freezing, okay? I'll be right back. We got the coals going right here. Um, I'm gonna let them go for about five more minutes and then I'm gonna start adding wood and get this smoker up to temperature and then we'll put the turkey breast on. So while we wait for the coals and everything and before we put our wood on and get our smoker up to temperature, uh, I wanna talk a little bit about what I'm gonna try tomorrow, since this is a practice run, but I'm obviously not gonna waste the turkey breast, and we're not gonna save it for three weeks out at Thanksgiving. We're gonna eat it, right? We're gonna eat the turkey breast, right? Ew. Yeah, we are. We're gonna eat the turkey breast. So, I was thinking, I got some of this rustic sourdough bread here. Boom, rustic sourdough bread. Some uh, Kraft Chipotle aioli. Um, this is actually really good if you haven't had it. I would definitely recommend going out and getting some of this and trying it. I also bought the garlic aioli. Not for tomorrow, but just in general. These two are game changers. Um, so I was thinking sourdough toast with some avocado, some guac maybe spread on top like avocado toast, sliced turkey breast, and then chipotle aioli. I want to know how that would be. So, sounds like a pretty good thing, kind of like an open face sandwich or like a smoked turkey breast avocado toast. Like, whew, yeah, and I might even. So, those, uh, the pickled red onions that I did last weekend with the barbecue, right? Dude, they were so good. Look at them. They turned out great. It was the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. I simmered some apple cider vinegar, some white distilled vinegar, and some water with a little bit of crushed red pepper and sea salt in, a, in the skillet for just like a minute, and then I poured it over raw red onions in a mason jar, and then I let it sit at room temperature for two hours, and then I put it in the fridge, and the next day, boom, awesome. Been topping it with everything. Great.
All right, folks, so it's about four and a half, five hours later. It took longer than I thought, considering the size of these turkey breasts. Um, I saw someone, uh, the meat church barbecue guy, he did it and it only took him like an hour 45 or something like that to smoke his, um, but it was just one. Maybe he was running his smoker at a higher temperature. I'm not sure. Um, mine was on average between like 230 and 260. Um, and then I would bump it up. I had to keep stoking it a lot because of the, the temperature. It just kept dropping and it just made it harder for everything to heat up on the inside. So I kept making the fire really hot in the firebox and in turn uh, creating more heat in there. And so the last 20 to 30 minutes, I actually wrapped them with foil and uh, it actually pushed them past a stall. I was actually sitting at a stall for a while. They were sitting at 140 and 145 for like 45 minutes, just not budging. So I, I wrapped them in foil and after I wrapped them in foil and stoked that fire and got that temperature hot, they started steadily climbing till they both got to 165 internal temperature. Uh, one hit it and then five minutes later, the other one hit it. I took them both off, let them rest for about 15, 20 minutes. And uh, this, is, this is it, this is what it looks like now. So check it out. Well, this is a weird angle. Hmm. Mm. That is, that is the most delicious thing I've ever tasted. Hmm. Well, I'd actually like to say one more thing about tonight um, and just smoking meat in general. Like I said, I'm still, I would still consider myself an amateur. I can count on both hands how many times I've smoked so far while having this smoker. I've done a lot of Boston butts, pulled pork, just absolutely amazing. I've done one tri-tip roast. Um, I haven't done any pork tenderloins yet. Um, that would probably be very, very quick. Um, this is the first turkey breast that I've ever tried, but I will have to say, so far, I would liken smoking meat and barbecuing to kind of like taking test in school. I always, I'm my own worst critic, number one. Number two, I'm always doubting myself as far as, man, I don't know if I'm doing well. I'm not sure how this is going. But then the end result, you get the grade and you passed. And it's like the end result when everything comes off the smoker, it actually looks and tastes very, very good. Like something you would get from a restaurant. And I'm not trying to like hype myself up. I'm just saying it's pretty easy. I feel like it's hard to mess up um, unless you're just absolutely, you got bad smoke going on. You may be using the wrong wood, which I mean, that's kind of hard unless you're just throwing in trees from the backyard, um, you know, or you're burning it all together. I think it's hard to mess up. So if you are wanting to start smoking meat and barbecuing more, I say just dive right in, man, because the only thing you can do is just start. Light the flame, put the meat on, and test and, and, and try things. If you never try, you can't fail or succeed. So, I mean, just give it a shot, man, because I'm telling you, you might create something awesome. I love messing with flavors and trying new things, and now that I know that I can do a turkey breast, the possibilities are endless now. I can do all kind of flavor profiles and keep trying to master something until I find, dude, that's my go-to, that's my jam. So uh, I just wanted to throw that out there. If you are uh, inspired to go and cook some meat or start barbecuing, or maybe you are interested in going out and buying a smoker, go get one. You can get one for super cheap. Mine was under $200, just, just a hair under $200 and it doubles as a charcoal grill. I use it as a charcoal grill more often than not, but I can also use it as an offset smoker and smoke meat and get delicious meals for my friends and my family and, and whenever I want to. So uh, just go out and do it if it's something that you're interested in. I definitely just dive head first and give it a shot. All right, All right next day, it's gym time. Gonna get this workout in, and then in a couple hours, we're gonna have lunch, and uh, we'll do the open face sourdough Chipotle aioli avocado smoked turkey breast. Whatever we're gonna do it. Open face sandwich, plank. I don't even know what you call that. 
It's gonna be good though. I, I know it's I might even put it, you know what? Let's just call it a sandwich. It's gonna be a sandwich, turkey sandwich. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two, three. All right. Whew. Yeah, we're good. We are good. All right, folks. Uh, just doing a little audio test for the podcast. I got some news coming in 2023. All right. Big news for the podcast. Listen to Lamb Chop is getting a new co-host. Cody has some other things he's got to focus on. He's not going to be able to show up as much. That's okay. Life happens. But my life partner, my wife, she's about to take over as co-host of the Listen to Lamb Chop podcast. And what better? Gavin Lamb, Darby Lamb, cool, fun information. Like I said, probably not that much information, but cool, fun, sit-down stories and uh, shared experiences and stuff like that. And hopefully we'll bring something to the table, the podcast table to talk about. So uh, anyway, guys, I want to go ahead and end this vlog here. And I do have one major apology. I am so sorry. This is, I, I actually have some explaining to do. So let's get serious here. Basically after my workout uh, yesterday, I, um, I was so hungry. Darby was hungry. Everybody was hungry, and I made the sourdough. I toasted, I put some olive oil on it. I toasted it in the skillet. I spread some chipotle mayo on there. I used the smoked turkey breast, really thin sliced, laid that over, and then I whipped up one avocado with a little bit of cilantro and garlic powder and made like a little guac, and I spread that on top of the turkey, and it was like an open face sourdough smoked turkey sandwich and it was so so good and i'm so sorry i had 110 percent intentions to film the entire process of building it and then eating it and um i was so hungry and i was cooking for everyone else and i just i never grabbed the camera and then all of a sudden all the ingredients were gone and i couldn't like fake it and go back and like redo it because there was none of it left. So my apologies, I 100% own that. However, at least you got to see me taste the smoked turkey breast uh, pretty much right off the smoker, like a few like minutes after it was done. So it was delicious. We made that meal out of it. There's still some leftover turkey breast. So uh, yeah, it was really good. I highly recommend smoking a turkey breast if you haven't, or just going out there and making that sandwich. Sourdough, chipotle aioli, uh, avocado and some turkey breast. That was it. It was simple but so delicious. So sorry that I forgot to film that for you guys. Um, my bad. Uh, anyway, as always, guys, on the Listen to Lamb Chop podcast, this is not the podcast. Not the podcast. My head's in the podcast right now. My bad. As always, on Gavin Lamb TV and the Listen to Lamb Chop podcast, much love. Faith moves mountains. Peace out, y'all.